Okay, so we're going to learn how to do the long deep breath today. Um, and there are a couple of rules that I want to talk about as it relates to breathing, whether you're doing the long deep breath practice or um, you're just out in the world just breathing, okay, as you live your life. Okay, and there are two rules that you want to think about um, as you become more conscious of this, and that's when you're um, inhaling, you're expanding the body as opposed to the body going in on the inhale. Uh, a lot of people do that, and that's called reverse breathing. Okay, so we want to do actual correct breathing, which is expanding on the inhale, and the body comes in on the exhale. At the same time, when the body does come in on the exhale, we're not going and then like really coming, like closing up our body. We're coming in and the spine remains tall, almost as if you're lengthening the spine. Okay, so inhale and expand and exhale and lengthen as the body comes in. The second rule is that when you inhale, the breath comes down past the diaphragm. Let's say to your solar plexus, which is just behind your stomach right here. Okay, you don't have to bring it all the way down into your sacrum. Um, just pass the diaphragm. Okay, so take that breath down. If you don't bring it down for, far enough, then that becomes shallow breathing. And that's what triggers the um, sympathetic nervous system, which then puts us into fight and flight mode. We don't want that. We want it. We want to be relaxed and we want to be able to digest our food and be in a calm space. So by doing to do that, you wanna bring that breath down past the diaphragm so that we can trigger the parasympathetic nervous system, okay? So those are the two rules. Even if you're doing other breaths like we may do later on um, called breath of fire or other kinds of breaths in any yoga class, those two rules always exist. That we never ask you to do shallow breathing or reverse breathing, okay? Those are the two rules of breathing. If you wanna really find your calm, okay? And, um, so that's it. And the other thing is when you're breathing, ideally, unless you're doing a specific pranayama, to breathe through the nostrils. And see if you can even, if anything, you can equalize the inhale and exhale, but maybe try exhaling a little bit longer than your inhale. Okay, by doing all these things, you're going to give your body an opportunity, your, um, the oxygen an opportunity to really get into the tissues and the muscles of your body by doing that. All right, so let's try that. And one way of um, focusing on your expansion on the inhale is to just maybe bring your hands right here, right where the diaphragm is, where the middle finger, just gently touch. They don't overlap or anything, they just gently touch like this. And then on the inhale, when the body expands, they slightly come apart. Exhale they come back together. I'm not moving my, hand, my hands, they're just, you know, moving from the movement of my body. So inhale and expand, and exhale. Fingers come together. So let's try that just for a moment, okay? So inhale, exhale. and just do it at your own pace. And by closing your eyes as you breathe, you can really focus in on your breath as opposed to something that's happening externally. Notice if your shoulders are rising and allow them to just drop, to relax your shoulders down. Notice if your neck or your scalp or anything else is tense. If your hands are down, because you can do this with your hands down as well. Notice if your hands are starting to clutch your knees or anything like that. Just scan through your body as you're breathing. And see if you can lengthen and deepen your breath with each breath cycle. And one way to condition yourself to breathe correctly throughout the day, you can start by doing this first thing in the morning when you wake up. 
for about five minutes. You can even bring your hands if you're not, if this doesn't feel good to you, you can just bring your hands to your stomach as you're still lying on your back or you can lie on your back when you wake up and just allow the motion, just kind of focus on the motion of your breath as you inhale, your hand comes up and as you exhale, the hand comes down. With children, we, put, we often put a rubber duck or some sort of stuffed animal on the, on the, on the stomach to feel, to see the rise and fall of the animal, in this case our hand. Okay, you can just do that for a few, three to five minutes in the morning. And you can also do it again three to five minutes at night when you go to bed, lie on your back. And focus on the long deep breath. And if you want to do it more often, you can do it while you're driving, you got your hands on your steering wheel, you can just kind of feel the movement of your breath. While you're cooking, it's a good thing to do is to just kind of meditate on the breath as you cook. Okay, and stay present with your chopping and your washing and everything else. And that's it.